All right, everybody, welcome back. I'm finally back with uh, Dororo episode 14. I'm back from the Philippines, and um, spring 20, uh, spring 2017, spring 2019 uh, started uh, while I was gone. Uh, but I'm gonna be diving into that next week. One Punch Man and a bunch of other shit that came out as well. I got, I got a lot of catching up to do, and I, I wanted to react to uh, not only Dororo, uh, the latest episode of Dororo, but also the last episode of. Mob Cycle 102. So before I dive into uh, before I dive into the 2019 spring season, just wanted to get those out of the way. Uh, but anyways, we're here with Dororo episode 14. Last episode was a bit, was a bit creepy. It was a little a little a little, little, little bit on the the, the creepier side. Uh, but this anime being uh, the, the semi dark anime, it is not too surprising at all. But um, let's jump right into it. Oh, okay. So it looks like they're gonna be explaining. Explaining what that tattoo was on Dororo's back, what, what that was all about. Oh. oh, okay, well, won't you look at that? Guess it wasn't really a tattoo, but it, I mean, I guess it is considered a tattoo, but it's a, it's a map. It's a map to some good old bank. Good old bank. Looks like Dororo gonna cash out. <laughs> uh, your papa's lifelong ambition was to... Was to... <laughs> was to put the... The most detailed tattoo on the, on the human wife that he loved so much. You know, Loki, like, the way this old man is telling Dororo how to use the money could be, like, the reason why the series is called Dororo. Because, like, up until now, the story has mostly been about Hyakimaru, but, you know, Dororo having this map on his back and having, you know, this much power in his hands could really be like the pinnacle turning point within this whole story that could change the world. To be fair to Dororo too, Dororo has mostly been like the the, the limiter and the, not, not controller, but m mostly like the the moral compass for uh, Hyakimaru, as well as sort of the, the brains of the group. Ew! Ew! What the fuck is that? It's not a demon, but what is it? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Yakimaru just fucking walks away. He's like, it ain't a demon. It's not my. It's not my job on that goblin slayer mentality, low key. <laughs> That's gonna be a large ass piss. No lie. It's gonna be a big ass diaper you're gonna have to change Dororo. Oh no, he's gonna pee right on Dororo. Oh. Oh, and who might you be, Mr. Well dressed man with flowers? Mr. You look like a you look like some kind of government official. Go haunts this place my ass. I got a feeling this is the man who burnt it down. Some shit. I mean that that little baby thing wouldn't have disappeared for no reason. I mean come on now. I mean, I, I mean, I, I could be wrong too. Then again, but uh, still, he's kind of sketch. Look at his eyes. He already looks like he's possessed or some shit. What the fuck? Yeah, look at Hyakimaru already had a feeling. He already has a feeling. Look at this shit. What the fuck? Well, Doro, he's got this red aura around him, which happens to be fairly evil. So uh, I wouldn't say monster, uh, jackass. Asshole, murderer, serial killer, I don't know. Whatever suits your boot. Wow. Okay. That's uh pretty uh pretty hardcore. He could be lying though. He could be lying to try to justify what he did, cause I got a feeling he's the one that burnt village down. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, well I mean that story's completely a lie. He says it got struck by lightning, but there is oil. So, uh, your story is complete bullshit, my dude. Well, yeah, that's not creepy or disgusting at all. <laughs> that's, a uh, that's pretty disturbing, actually. Ew! What the fuck? This is a human centipede all over again? So, yeah, I got a, I got a feeling that thing wasn't just, you know, roaming around or anything. I got a feeling, okay, that's not creepy at all. I got a feeling that thing was sent by something. What 
the fuck? What the fuck? What in the world, Mothra? Holy shit, is Ghidorah also in this anime? What the fuck? No, what I think is this asshole. Yep, I had a feeling. I had a feeling it was sent out by this asshole. This motherfucker. I got a feeling this chick. Yep, I ah, see that little smile just shows that she's just manipulating him. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. I see through both of your guys' intentions. Tension, to be fair, Dororo kind of made it easy as well, but, um, <laughs> oh boy, here we go. This, uh, the one lady that's in the new, uh, opening, so, um, is she gonna team up with another demon and, and fight, fight off, uh, Hyakimaru, or is she gonna try to solo this shit? I don't know. Bottom line is that she's in the opening, so she must play a very relevant role in the story.